Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to uh, teach you how to work with uh, parameter substitution using variables in batch. Uh, for example, let's take um, the following variable. I'm going to declare a variable called string1 and I'm going to set it equals to hello dash uh, batch dash script. And uh, parameter substitution is very useful. For example, it allows you to substitute uh, finding patterns uh, from a specific string. Let's say that I wanted to uh, remove everything from the string up to the first batch, up to the first dash. So I could say echo, and I'm going to use brace expansion, followed by the name of the variable, that is a string one, and then because I want to remove from the back, I need to use the modulus symbol. And then I need to include the pattern that I want to remove. In this case, I want to remove a string followed by a dash. And so I'm going to say dash and the wild character. And so the modulus, uh, basically, uh, is telling the, um, the brace expansion to remove the following pattern and so how many patterns only if you include only one uh, modulus it removes only one pattern so let's press enter and now we have hello batch so we have removed uh, script dash so if i recall uh, the command and instead of one modulus symbol i include two then i will be removing uh, two occurrences of this pattern which is this one is the first one and this one is the second one so we'll be left only with hello okay so that is uh, 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 pattern uh, variable substitution um, and the other um, option uh, using variable substitution is to remove from the beginning uh, so let's create another variable this one is a string two and at this time I'm going to say hello dot batch dot script. Notice now that every single word is separated by a dot. So I could say echo uh, using brace expansion, string two, and if I want to remove from the beginning, I need to use the pound sign. And so now I want to remove everything up to the first dot. Remember, the pound sign only means remove from the beginning, and then it's going to find this pattern. Press enter, and I get batch script. Again, if I include two uh, pound symbol, I only get script. So that is ba the basics of uh, uh, pattern substitution in variables. Uh, now let's see a uh, practical example how we can use uh, pattern substitution. Uh, let's say that I have um, uh, five uh, APK files. So I'm going to create these files. I'm going to call them Android uh, Package. And I'm going to use Brace Expansion. And I'm going to say um, one through five and I'm going to for the extension I'm going to say that these files are APK so these are my APK files actually I had more APK files I had uh, created uh, 10 to 15 so I have 10 files uh, actually let me remove uh, everything from 10 all the way through 15 I made things a lot easier. Okay, here we go. So let's say that I want to uh, substitute the extension APK and uh, rename every single file instead of APK. I want to rename uh, zip file. I want to change the APK extension by the zip extension. So I'm going to create a, um, a for loop. I'm going to say for um, for file in um, that APK and uh, if you want to uh, know whether or not the command is going to work just do an ls 
minus L dot a um, wildcard dot APK. That is going to give you all the uh, the files with that extension. So I'm going to say for file in wildcard APK uh, do, and I want to echo the file just to make sure that I'm getting all the files with the right extension. In other words, I'm getting the right output. And those are my files. So now what I want to do is repeat the same for loop. But now instead of echoing the file, what I want to do is echo the file with the extension substituted. In other words, I'm going to use brace expansion and I'm going to remove from the back uh, everything up, up until the dot, the first dot. And I'm going to add the extension dot zip. Remember, I want to rename the file zip. So now I should be getting echoing uh, all file files, but instead of the APK extension, I should be getting that zip. Okay, here we go. So now we know that uh, our uh, pattern substitution is working. And what we're going to do now is to rename every single file. So I'm going to recall the command. And instead of echo, instead of echo, I'm going to say move file, which is the original file, to this file extension. So if I press enter and I do an ls minus l, all my files are now zip files. Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on um, uh, pattern substitution using variables. I hope you find it uh, useful and as always remember to subscribe.